Greetings everyone, hey how you doing? It's Matt Sella. Today I am doing a non-spoiler review for the most anticipated animated movie of all time. Oh, that's right, it's the Angry Birds Movie 2. Aren't you excited folks? Cause I sure am. But seriously, while a lot of people may have rolled their eyes at the first Angry Birds movie, I actually thought it was alright. It actually entertained me at the time. Yes, the film had many flaws in terms of its writings and family film tropes, but I personally believe that the team behind the film were actually having fun making this movie, and they seemed passionate about the art direction, putting a lot of detail and attention to the environments, inspired from the mobile game itself. A short review statement about the first movie, it felt like a million dollars were given to an ambitious animation college student who was inexperienced in making family films. That's probably the most too long to read version I could say I thought about the first movie. So I was hoping Rovio Studios would learn all they can from the first film and make a stronger sequel. Then I saw the Sony Animation Picture logo, and then suddenly I kind of felt skeptical. Now don't get me wrong, I really enjoyed the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse movie. They did a fantastic job there with the story and the visuals, but I fear they gave them the B-team, who worked on films like Smurfs, Lost Village, or the Hotel Transylvania franchise, focusing more on appealing to the kids rather than the whole family. Oddly enough though, there was a Kickstarter funded animated short that partnered with Sony Animation Pictures appeared in front of the Angry Birds film, and it's called Hair Love. It was a traditionally animated with a hint of that Spider-Verse looking visuals, particularly the hair on the little girl, and I thought it was way beyond delightful. Not sure if Sony Animation Pictures was trying to do what Pixar and Disney used to do by putting little animated shorts before the main film, but I definitely want to investigate this Hair Love short because I thought it had a lot of talented artists behind it. But in contrast to how well done that was, how was Angry Birds 2? Well, I'm sorry to say, I feel like Rovio learned all the wrong lessons. While I believe Red, the titular Redbird, voiced by Jason Sudeikis, was better written in this film than he was in the first, the film surrounding him felt a little bit more watered down. But in terms of interesting writing, Zeta, the purple bird, voiced by Leslie Jones, is the antagonist of the film, and while she had somewhat of an interesting motive, it wasn't really enough for me to empathize with her, nor really despise her. What's strange is she plays off as a hot-headed boss eagle being sassy almost all the time, Yet there was this one part in the film where you could actually hear her acting chops that almost connected with me. I wish we had more of that. However, the film focused more on the gags, which did make the children in the theater laugh, as well as a couple of adults, so personally, I only chuckled a couple of times, which is fine. All jokes, I got the punchline. It was just typical and too easy in my book. Most of them did not feel clever to me, which is a shame. But hey, the, the kids laughed, so I guess that's what really matters. And lastly, to top my negative points, is there is a lot of pop songs thrown into this film, which is a family animated film cliche that drives me nuts, especially when a couple dance sequences are put in. And granted, I know animators love to do dance sequences, I get that. I really wish those stayed in the late 2000s, but visual noise keeps the kids happy, so it's for the kids. While the animation, the movement of the characters were well done, I'm afraid the rating for this film leaves me giving it a meh. It did not throw me in any way, but I did not dislike it. I know who it's for, and maybe aside from one of the kitty birds saying, oh crap, teaching little kids how to say it, which by the way, there was a little girl in the audience echoed that as soon as she heard the little bird say it. So good luck to that parent trying to convince her not to say that often. It'll keep kids entertained for a fleeting moment, and I think that's it. For animation fans or animators like myself, the animation quality, what you would expect from the film, but don't expect the story or jokes to leave much of an impression. But if you enjoy those wacky 3D cartoon and visual gags, you may get a little kick out of this. And that will do it for my review. Let me know in the comment section below, did you see Angry Birds 2? What did you think? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Share your thoughts. Join the conversation. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Mattzella. Consider donating a dollar or more a month. It will go towards my podcast, art, animation, and content made just for you. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified when new videos drop. And do me a favor and share this podcast review with family and friends. This is Mattzella, thanking you all for tuning in. 